Hey guys, welcome to another episode in the deep playthrough of Metro Exodus Enhanced Edition. In the previous episode, we got some kind of an apparatus from yeah, a secret room in there. Not sure what it is still. And for this episode, I thought it would be nice. We Our objective is to get to the big cross in the middle. To get the train cards. Um, yeah, I already read that in a previous episode. We get to, we need to get a, a railway wagon to uh, hook up to the locomotive, to the train. Uh, but for now, let's go to the southeastern part. We will make our way from the south to the north. Let's get a teddy bear. That's like a side mission for the little girl. Then we will explore those two question marks. And then, uh, yeah, actually that whole southeast island we will explore. And then afterwards we will be going to the cross. So, teddy bear time first. So, that is in that direction. Here we go. Just counting it out. Alright, that's actually easier said than done to get there. I wasn't aware that there was like water in between. Ah, there is. Uh, maybe that's the little island he meant. The, I, th I still think the guy uh, in an earlier episode, an NPC, mentioned something about a stash on a little island. Uh, but that's not, a, not an island. That is just... A submerged house but let's check it out anyways and I really have to watch um, I think they are still there yeah they are still there god damn it I cannot get to my boat there are like countless of shrimps over there and not the normal type but the uh, toxin toxin spitting type and that is really um, yeah, hard to deal with given that I also already shot a lot of them and now it appears and that yeah, cost a lot of ammunition and now it appears they all respawned after I went for a sleep I do think staying up here was maybe one of the more safe. Oh, I hear them. Hey, there's one of those flying creatures. Oh shit, is it com coming off here? It looks too come closer indeed holy shit it's coming over here and can it have a you can never have like a chill day in the wasteland all right it would be very cool they would actually start attacking each other. Yeah, there he goes. All right. Let's wait. The problem is I, I need my boat over there. And I keep on getting ambushed by the spit shrimps. Now they suddenly seem not here anymore. I do like that randomness. I mean, that's realistic. 
They can also just give up and search for another prey. But I somehow do think they're still there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yes, I have a little bit OCD. Counting the number of horizontal lines on that wall. All right, are they popping up? We can see it in the water. If they do, it's easily a death sentence. But it looks to be quiet. Man, this is tense. Man, this is a tense game. All right, let's just go for it. And let's book it out of here. I don't mind the regular shrimp getting on the boats. You just shoot them off. I for sure do mind the spitting type. Because that spit is like very, very lethal. Come on, make a turn, will you? Right, I have no idea how this boat works. Whenever I pedal a bit, it starts to go right. It's very annoying. Turn it around. Ah, okay. Ah, I... Oh, shit. There is the... Holy shit. Do I have some weapons over here? No, I don't think I have over here. I don't think I have weapons over here. Let's quickly check my ball count. 24. Let's create some. And I think it flew over. At least I don't see it anymore. Alright, we have some knives over here. Do we have more? Is that everything? A couple of knives. If I go all the way over here for some knives. Ah, God damn it! I cannot pick up any more. Right, that's a bummer. I was hoping for more. All right, only way I can do is just <laughs> jump in the boat. Ah, I could actually stand there. Ah, maybe that's why the boat was acting so weird. It is very shallow over here. And again, I'm trying to turn around first. And here we go. Let's get to that house over there. I must say, it really also that sign over there. A lot of textures seem to be loading in very low detail. But whatever, it still looks amazing. Check it out. Right, we have 
radiation over here. Which is a bummer, because I'm sure there may be uh, cool items in here. Like goodies over there. A wheelchair, person sitting in a chair. Let's just try to get those items. Ah, not even that bad. Radiation. Right, I don't really have like short range weapon oh shit get the hell out of here why was his sight deteriorating say the toxicity was still in the green right no 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 I want to explore stuff people all right get the hell out of here music holy shit somebody hanged himself and there's a recorder over there quickly and let's just make a dash for it inside this house unless there's a way to crawl in on the sides I don't think there is all right let's just put on our mask on why not Right, it sounds a little bit like ghostly apparitions. Open up that one. Nope. All right, let's get the hell out of here. Sorry, guys. It's probably terrible what you went through. Oh. But. Holy shit. All right, I 
will for one moment still check out that room over there. Did I fully explore it? I think I did. Hey. not get stuck over here. Ah, this is another way out, so to say. Alright, is there anything else here? I don't think so. Sometimes you can interact with bodies, sometimes you can't. No, there is nothing here. This is Archim amazing climbing ability. Hey, there's like an upper level. Is there also anything here? Nope. Man, this would have been a good secret area. All right, it does give a good um, overview. So that part of the island, I still have to check that little uh, shrimp infested area there is some kind of an electricity station I still have to check then we will be going to that train terminal and afterwards we go to that bridge but we also have some stuff going on over there that building ah I actually see a bandit already Oh, no, that's only a lamp swinging. And is that one of the... No, there's nothing there according to the map, but... The teddy bear is somewhere around there, so that is our objective. And let's just hop in the boat and get to the other side and again very careful with jumping down even this pretty low height Archem will totally uh, <coughs> go wounded shit how the hell do I get down here Come on, Archem. Alright, then we go the way we came in. Which was... Like so. And this was a spooky house. Before we go any further, let's read what was in the notes and obviously again the wrong button patient ledger wow this is the very last uh, collectible that's weird all right february 4 12 patient 8 acute radiation syndrome stage 3 3 ARS stage 4 prognosis in all cases is poor all I have left is 32 flasks of ampicillin and 40 flasks of thermidol February 7 5 new patients in 3 days all ARS stage 3 also 2 lethal cases I couldn't do a thing at least I have thermidol for the worst cases February 11th no new patients everyone is here 7 lethal cases in three days earth heart as rock i just put them all in the shed out of ampicillin so i just gave them saline for or intravenous they say they feel better february 15 six lethal cases more they all know everything now but still keep thanking me only two terminals left i put them both into ver various drip she's a uh, stage four and suffered longer than anyone but she never complains i can't handle it anymore february 20 
third just three of us left we kept talking all night helps distract to distract ourselves the source age like hell i don't get how could varia endure it in any case it's not going to take long now today uh, today i was the only one to wake up i did all i could it is time holy shit this was kind of uh, uh, yeah, sick relief Termin terminally ill patients uh, shelter or maybe a very small hospital kind of thingy and everybody died holy shit holy crap that's pretty bad Holy shit, quite a lot of radiation over there Going by the um, Color of the fumes here sure there also will be bandits in here it's actually probably be a good thing to wait till uh, night time I remember getting through this section from the first time I played this game Somebody talking. Ah, I think there was actually a way in through the roof. If I remember correctly, hey, holy smack, and just walk all the way over there. Is there something over there? <coughs> holy shit. Let's see how far we can get. Is there anything there? No, there is nothing there. I'm just messing about. The only thing that could happen is getting attacked by spit shrimp. So get the hell out of here. I'm just walking through the radiation but then suddenly my meter started showing stuff oh shit I thought maybe there was something there but no seems only like barrels of uh, <laughs> toxic stuff let's check it out anyways uh, well there definitely is some cachonia. what oh shit fucking okay nothing shit Right, I assume
There is nothing here. No. Except wastelands. Alright, let's try and clear that building. And again, let's try to do it the decent way. And that is only kill if. Ah, there's a guy walking about. Pretty sure. They really have like eagle vision. To make sure your night vision device is always ready for use, don't forget to use the charger. Alright. Crouching helps you control weapon kickback, reducing shot spread. Good tip. I don't even think I have like night vision goggles yet, right? Night vision, yeah, it's uh, left button and then B. Nothing happens when I do that. I just tried. So there is a dude. It should be relatively easy to take down. Oh shit, it's really okay. I'm not waiting for him. Let's just go around. Can I get through the fence here? Nope. Alright, so I will have to wait for him to turn around. First victim. He has a pretty slow patrol. We're out. And there he goes. waiting it out. I thought he would walk further over there. I would just take him on his way back. One down. I wonder, can I, can you pick up bodies? I don't think you can. 
No. It's not what we wanted. Alright, let's first clear it out and then explore the place. Or uh, I can also explore it now a bit. Maybe I need the bullets. Pretty gross bathtub. But yeah, something is better than nothing, probably, in the wastelands. So, how's it going? Did you oil the gate? Nah, what for anyway? Are you fucking with me? We're going after those caravanners at night, but this gate is so squeaky, don't hear it way over on the bridge. Ah, I see. Well, nothing I can do. The boys took the oil. Well, find it. Hey, who's gonna stay here? You? All right, stay. I'll get it myself. Holy shit. <laughs> Can't get people to do shit. out and then we will explore it later on maybe there are some goodies here Yes, we can make one. And let's also make some balls. Alright, I can maximally. Uh, one second. Do I have a max of 60 balls or do I not have any? my uh ingredients anymore no i do have the ingredients there are only like 10 scrap and i have 49 scrap so you can only have a max of 60 uh thingies that's probably well it's because it's orange also the throwing knives are a maximum of five that's why it's orange and the cans i can still uh, pick up some of those that's why it's gray So easy to screw this up. Holy shit, there is one. Holy shit. This really is too easy to screw up. Oh. 
Right, he's walking the other way. And there's something here, right? Yes. Very nice. And I'm stuck over here. Alright, I think that may be our next victim. Yes, he is pretty much, I would say, isolated. I wish I could drag bodies. I wonder whether it's possible. I'm not sure. There and then he is turning around in that direction. So I could get around him, but I will just wait for him to walk back and then get him. That would be right about now. also an upstairs here so I can still very easily mess it up very nice medicine if I got any extra. Hmm. No, not really. This looks like a pretty decent train car, by the way. So there's a guy walking around to the right over here. I see a headlamp. All right, so let's avoid the lights. really lean outwards unfortunately all right so there's one du two dudes over there standing in each other's line of sights this one right they are actually not moving at all it 
so the only way to take them out and there's also a guy walking upstairs so hitting the 40 minute marker <coughs> I prefer to actually first take out the guy on top let's try to get on top then leave those two dudes that are in each other lines line of sight for last and then I can maybe throw a decoy although I don't have a decoy and then melee the other one or and then uh, stealth kill one and then melee the other one if he notices Right there, I think there was a way to get up. Holy shit! Two guys over there. What's up? Hope you <laughs> Not sure what you mean. Jump scare. All right, this all isn't going very well. I'm just going. Ah, so they are still on an alert mode. I'm just going to go here because I hope that this is actually uh, a trigger for an autosave. Unfortunately, don't see any saving going on. Um. No, goddammit. That means if I stop playing now, I have to redo everything I did up until now. Ah, no, autosave, very nice. All right, hopefully that autosave remembers all the guys I took out. And it can actually be beneficial that I created some alerts. Because, man, they have such an amazing... Um, eagle vision but the good thing is that now they are spread out so it could actually be beneficial to taking picking them off one by one uh anyways guys have to end the episode already over the 40 minute marker i think i will also uh stop playing myself now for today it's already very late again um beautiful sunset by the way uh, in the next episode, we will be continuing clearing out this um, yeah, train station thingy building. And then we will also be exploring it on our way to find teddy bear for the little girl. I uh, hope you enjoyed. I hope to see you in the next one. And for the meantime, do not forget, always do keep on gaming. See you later.